Hi viewers, good afternoon and welcome to Majesty Christian Television Network. My name is uh, Bishop Helen Rudokeno. So I'm here this afternoon um, to showcase some people who are doing something extraordinarily in the Southeast. So I have a young woman with me who is a friend, somebody who is very intelligent. I always like to hear from her. So she and her group, they have something they are doing next week, Tuesday. And that's what we want to showcase. So it has to do with Food Connect Saddles. We know that the issue of food is always very, very important and uh, exciting. But then, how does food connect Southeast now? So, today we want to explore to get to know what they are intending to do on the 24th of September 2024 here in East. So, welcome once again to Majesty TV. Naomi, welcome. And it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you for having me. All right. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Because your other colleagues could not come. No. <laughs> but I'm competent that you will surely produce. Yes. All right. It's good. All right. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Naomi Kempenaar. Um, I'm a mother of three boys. Um, I started my own uh, empowerment program for mothers uh, who are raising their children uh, and who don't have a lot of money um, and I'm trying to get them all the help and all the uh, things to benefit from to um, raise their children and have a good life in Holland. Really? Yes. Wow. So are you succeeding in that? Is it, um, are you getting so many women into it? Those oh. who are single mothers you mean? Yes. Okay. Well, it's the third time I'm doing my project and um, it goes very well. Um, and um, I meet a whole lot of uh, different women who I can help. Yes. Um, they all need um, a different approach or something different. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a network to get them where they need to go to get the help they need. Mm -hmm. And uh, one part of my program is uh, good food, healthy food, mm -hmm. for yes. a good price. Okay. Um, and that's why I'm here, uh, because we have the Food Connect South Oost. Um, and I'm a part of that, because uh, I want uh, people to have good food. And uh, many people want them to have good food, but they don't think about what it costs. Because good food is mostly is expensive. Yes, it's true. Yes, and that's yeah. why we, we are with the Food uh, Connect uh, South Oost. Mm -hmm. um, th those are four parties uh, in the Food Connect South Oost. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's Food Click, Green Mile Initiative, Two Ping and uh, Groen Platform South Oost. Mm -hmm. uh, and Two Ping is more like a an, uh, an, uh, valuta to uh, pay people who cannot uh, get paid in a normal order. Or people who has an uh, an uitkering from the gemeente mm -hmm. uh, and they wanna uh, do vrijwilligerswerk, mm -hmm. um, then they can get paid in another form so that they will not get caught under uh, money. Yeah. Um, and for this, we uh, have like uh, the um, food connect, food click, is about almost I think almost 30 people. Um, and we are in different groups doing different things. And I'm about the physical places to look like what's where in the uh, Ha neighborhood. Yeah. That we can come to a, a good circle of food. Yeah. That we can bring it to the people for a good price. Oh, oh. okay. Okay. So what you are saying to our audience is that um, you have um, this Food Connect Southeast that comprises of uh, four groups of people or four groups of uh, associations. Yes. So you have the Food Click, yes. you have the Green Mail Initiative, Yes. you have the Tooping, yes. and you have the Grown Blood Forum. 
try those. Sad roast. Yeah. Okay, so four of you make up to what we call the food connects sad roast. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. And then your interest is uh, to talk about a healthy, uh, healthy way of getting food well, we with a good price. Yes, and we have different uh, initiatives for that. We want to go to the schools, okay. but also um, educate uh, the people who are cooking the food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, to make, uh, to make like, uh, for instance, most African people like to have fufu. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and in Suriname food, also you have like a whole lot of grease and stuff. Oh yeah, and um, then we can show them how to make it with uh, or another product or with less grease, so that it's healthier for yeah 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 for yeah. your um, for your uh, gezondheid. Yeah yeah for your health. For your health. Yes. And um, it's a start because uh, if the mother um, cook healthier, the children will eat healthier, and then we have less problems with diabetes and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Wow. So, do, do, where do people get this food from? Uh, we have... Uh, They're organic, I believe. Yes, we okay. have like one initiative that's from uh, Boere for Bure. Mm -hmm. Beautiful uh, Bure, yes. Yes, and um, they have like um, week packages that you can uh, select on. Uh, but I'm also... Um, assistant coach at Bloei and Groei. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, uh, those are gardens who make their own food. Um, and right now they only uh, produce it for Yamaha or their own market. But that's something we want to explore to um, look where we can get fo good food. And yeah. Um, at l uh, we like to have it like local. So not outside because then you have like the logistics and stuff and that that makes it, it makes it expensive yeah 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 you're trying <laughs> you can speak english very well because <laughs> before we started you wanted to do it in dutch <laughs> oh well you are trying so much yeah. so um so are you how do you grow this food do you also get the those people who are your, who are your target groups for this food well, the, the, the biggest group we want to target is the people who don't have a lot of money. The people who um, most of the time go to the grocery store and buy like a uh, refrigerator, pizza or unhealthy stuff. Okay, somebody, somebody may choose to be eating that. Does that mean that the person doesn't have money? No, it, it, um, we want to um, open people their minds to the choice of healthy food. Okay. So you, you can choose for healthy food, but you can choose also to not eat healthy, and that's a choice, but we want to make it easier for people to eat healthy and yes. to be healthy and to feel healthy. Yes. Um, instead of, because we know like the junk food and everything is a lot cheaper and you get it in your house like very quick, mm. but at the long term, it's very unhealthy and yes. we want people to live longer and to celebrate their life yes instead so of yes, yes. Uh, the food we because we, we are the food we eat yeah exactly because if you eat so cheap you die so quick is that yes ah, may god help us yes there are all us. kinds of disease with the processed foods with the foods that are in the stores the most uh great uh, vegetables and stuff in the supermarket don't have any uh, nutrients or anything for the body but it's just to fill your stomach yes and that's why we want to change the the way we eat it's a very uh, interesting uh, project you guys are doing yes so i compliment it it's so good so ride high <laughs> so um so do you also teach uh the, those who are vulnerable do you teach them how to plant some of these things or you only get the farmers to bring their ready-made uh, crops. So do you teach, do you have the, the, the opportunity of teaching well, we want your we target want, group? Yeah, we want, to, we want to have the ability that we can teach people on the land. And a part of that is going to the schools that they can, uh, that the youth can learn in school uh, how to plant things and how to, to grow their own vegetables. But we cannot start with the children. We need to start with the parents. Mm. And I think a part of what we want is like uh, the community gardens. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. That, together, yes. yes, that the people of the community can come mm -hmm. and garden themselves. Yes, and that there's somebody who teaches them, but also uh, a heal, healing garden because if you work in the garden, it's healing for your soul and spirit, and you meet oh. other people. So it's it has a lot of more benefits than only uh, creating your own food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's more of community building, and mm -hmm. that's in our plan too. Mm. To inculcate it, it's your plan to be able to make it, make it available for the community. Yes, so and have, have community gardens in uh, all over southeast. So it's that, so nice. Yes, so that everybody can has a space nearby that you can go to, and uh, if you want to help in the garden, yeah. but also if you help in the garden, you get a, a, a part of the crops yes. and the things to eat for yeah. your home. That's uh, that that is so nice. <laughs> so, we, which farms are really supporting in this project now? Uh, we have the Buda for Buda. We have uh, what's the other name? Um, uh, we have what's the uh, onze groente boer, mm -hmm. um, and there are. I'm trying to connect with Blue and Groei, yeah, um, to get uh, them to work with us. Uh, but there are, are a lot of uh, different people because we have also farmers mm -hmm. uh, in the meetings, but we also have like uh, food specialists, uh, people who study food. Uh, people who study uh, people who are eating food and, mm -hmm. and what their uh, habits are. Mm -hmm. So uh, the the big group of 30 people is like uh, totally diverse, which, which everybody can uh, join and can give their intel so mm -hmm. that we can have uh, like every information mm -hmm. and so, um, that we can do what we want to do. Oh, really? Yes. Awesome, awesome. So awesome. if there are farmers or people who want to join us yes. in this project, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Farmers, you have heard it. And also, those who have um, good gardens, you have heard it also. You want to join in providing a healthy food for Southeast indigenous. You better join this lofty group. Mm -hmm. This is very powerful. So, um, how, how, how did you really select yourselves? How, how did you come together? Is it that you all went to the same school or, or how did you come together? Uh, we uh, came so that you can have such an interest, you know, common yes. interest. Yes, well, the common interest is food, of course, but we came together. It was like an, um, an info information meeting um, about uh, Food Click because they wanted to uh, start this program. And um, yeah, everybody, well, I was in the uh, neighborhood talks at that moment yeah. and I got it from that app group uh, if I was interested in good food and healthy food. Yeah. And then I uh, went to the meeting and I liked it and yeah. I actually stayed. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how other people also came. Yes. Yes, because uh, we, we, we uh, cast it uh, broad and then uh, people from everywhere are coming, even people who are not living in Amsterdam, yeah. uh, people from Almere, people from further than Almere. So everybody uh, who is interested in good food uh, and already was busy with how can we produce better food yeah. for a cheap price, uh, everybody came and that's what, when we started to... Uh, first, uh, get like the ideas, like what what do we really want for the people? Yeah. Uh, and then we came with uh, the ideas and the plans, and now we're in the in the operating phase. Like we are going to really work the things out, mm -hmm. and we are really going to start a food hub. We we will start in uh, the H um yeah. and um, yeah. So really? we're we're working hard. <laughs> so how long has this been? Uh in existence. We are, I think we are in this, uh, in this process for almost a year, I think. How many? Almost one year. Oh, okay. Yes, and the project will be for two years more. Mm -hmm. uh, 
because we have budget for that and we want to do as much as uh, possible so that it can sustain when the two years are over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. So, are there possibilities of people joining your group? Yes. Those who are interested, maybe somebody is out there listening to this discussion and the person will want to join to this uh, lofty group of uh, healthy, healthy people who like healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> What are they supposed to do? How can they join? How can they become members? Well, we have an, uh, an uh, event, yeah. uh, Food Connect South Oost. We have a uh, 24th of September, we have an event um, actually right here in yes. the Habe. Yeah. Um, in this very room? <laughs> in this very room, yes. Um, and we will have an event with, um, with a program and we would like to uh, meet as much people as possible um, to uh, connect with us so that we can uh, make this uh, reality and make this happen for a whole side of those. Exactly. I think, uh, and I heard this is the first type of uh, this summer here. Yes. This is the first gathering you guys are having. This is uh, the very, very first uh, event we are having. Um, and uh, yes, we would like it very much. I'm very excited and I hope to see you all. It's uh, on, uh, we are now in the Habe's. Yeah. It's uh, Hoogevecht 188A. Mm -hmm. Hoogevecht number 188A. In Amsterdam. In Amsterdam. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So what type of food are we expecting to see that day? It's, a, it's like all here will be filled with food or what? Now we have, um, we are working together with the bird cooks still because there's the, those are part of uh, the food click hub and uh, we will see different kind of foods but it will be healthy food. <laughs> so is it going to be so many, how many people are you expecting really? Uh, we are expecting I'm about 30, 30 people. Oh, 40 or 50? 30 people. We said 30 people, but if we have 40 or 50 people, it will be nice too. We, well, will, uh, we will arrange that very good. Mm -hmm. I know this is why you reduce the volume, the, the number of people. Is it that you, don't, you guys don't have enough or what? Do you have any reason why you are limiting the uh, number? No, the 30 people was just like, um, I think, because we just started to building up the team. Yeah. And uh, we just started connecting with all kind of different uh, initiatives in uh, the Harbourt. Yeah. And I think it was just roughly like, what, what, what will we think that will come? And yeah. they thought, thought that 30, so maybe it will be more, maybe it will be less. <laughs> But I hope a lot of people come and help us. By the way, is it gratis? It is totally gratis. <laughs> yeah, then those of you who have been out there, you have heard it and you are watching this program, make date with uh, Food Connects Us. Make date with them on the 24th of September 2024. The location is this Habis. So, uh, I think you are sitting right there. What time are you starting? Five o'clock? Yes, we are starting five o'clock till eight. Five o'clock till eight o'clock. Come and eat healthy food and come and get to know the people behind it and see if you can connect properly and also become part of them. Well, it has been so wonderful. A lot of things are happening in in Southeast. Yes. The last time I saw you, you had your business uh, incubating. Yes. Are you still busy with that? Yes, I'm. Um, I'm. Um, um, I I started the incubator with a uh, other colleague of mine. So I'm actually I I feel like I am the incubator because I'm um, the living incubator right now who's functioning. <laughs> um, so and that's why I uh, am a part of that too. But my my own company. Yes. Uh, the Shore Cares and the, the empowerment programs for the women and children, uh, they are uh, under the incubator. So I'm 
actually like both. <laughs> <laughs> so this incubator is uh, where you incubate business or what? Or yes, the, the, the incubator is from Stichting Winwerk. And the incubator is a program that if you want to start your own business, but you still get money from the government or you are undocumented or what may, what might be the case you can just uh, be an entrepreneur and you get three to five years to grow your business wow. without uh, financial financial uh, problems yes. because the stichting is like the umbrella where you can save your money under and you can make like your own uh, media so your own logo everything uh, you think of uh, will be still yours after three to five years and you can take it with you mm. and the money that you saved up you can take it with you if you in the meanwhile need like anything uh, you can uh, just take your money out and yeah. then then uh, the financial department will go uh, to look with you how you can take your money out with without uh, uh, without cutting your money or or, or Th those kind of things mm -hmm. so uh, yeah everybody can can come uh, and um, there was just a program start maak je eigen werk uh, you can still come it's on Saturday from mm -hmm. uh, the walk-in is uh, one no, the walk-in is 12 30 okay. and it's still 16 30 wow. and Yes, if you do that program, we will teach you how to make your own work, mm -hmm. how to make your money, how to make your uh, uh, logo and your media for your own company. So it's you, you get a whole lot um, at us and then you can go in the incubator and just do your business. And hide, uh, you hide uh, for about three or four years. Yeah. Then you when you are ready and you have enough money, yes. then you come out again to the clue clue. Yes. Wow. We we think that after within three to five years you can build a strong business yes. who will sustain in the community and yeah. in the government. Mm -hmm. Yes. So as are there are there some people that are coming to you to incubate their businesses? We have uh, like a whole lot. Um, oh. We most because I have my own program and uh, Elizabeth has her own pro program, the yeah. Make Your Own Work. Mm -hmm. uh, a whole lot of people come from those two programs, but we also have like the, the link with the gemeente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, from the client managers, some, sometimes they send people to uh, make your own work to, to the program. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we are advertising a lot so uh, people are interested in what we're doing and um, then they had have the chance to get in the program and in the incubator and get all the information we can get them to get a good start mm -hmm. wow so back to our food connection or food connect south Oost. is it only for men and women is it only for adults no it's uh, everybody can come at the uh, food uh, food event. Mm -hmm. Everybody? Yes. So we can come with your children? Yes. Mm. I will take my children, I hope actually. You, I hope you have enough for this day. I just hope you have enough for this day. So are there some of your colleagues you are missing who you would have liked to mention their name so you can know? Some of your colleagues who are supposed to be here with you, but today they are not here. Look into the camera and tell us, what are you missing? <laughs> Who am I missing? Well, actually, I'm not missing anybody because I have all the information. But yeah. uh, I will. Annette is a very hardworking person, and she is um, doing all kinds of stuff. So that's why she couldn't be here because she has to had to coach somebody uh, some somewhere else. Yeah. Um, and Rizaides is very busy too. Mm -hmm. I know she was here earlier. Uh, but we're all just busy and we're all just doing different kind of projects and with that said, yeah, it's always one, if, if one can come then it's fine and then mm -hmm. we, we all have the knowledge so yeah. we can all do it. Yeah, well, that is it. So, what do you think you want to say more to those who have listened pertaining to the Food Connect? What do you want to say? What last word do you want to tell them before we sign up? 
Well, I want to tell everybody, I hope uh, to see you um, um, on uh, 24th of September. Yes. To come and get your knowledge about good food. There will be good food there. There will be uh, uh, um, networking. Yes. Uh, there will be uh, uh, business uh, uh, opportunities also. Um, and also that I, I, I would really like the community to come because it's for you guys and for us and we want to do it together it's not from us but it's about from you guys and we need to make it together to get the good food oh awesome yeah we had mommy say it is for all of us so don't exempt yourself we look forward to see you on the 24th being tuesday next week by five o'clock here here by the habit her, her, what her base. It? Her base. Her base. effect number 188. Ah. ah. We look forward to see you come Tuesday. Come Tuesday. Come Tuesday. So on this note, when I sign off, I want to say thank you for being with us. I keep smiling. And I just hope that your incubating business will continue to go very forward. Yes. Thank you so much, Annie. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was nice being here. Yeah. Appreciate you. All right, our viewers, we look forward to you watching Majesty TV all the time, your best channel. See you next week. Bye for now.